In this video, we're going to start to take a look at something called media queries. Now, media queries are brand new in CSS3. They allow us to apply certain styling given a screen width or screen height. So we just have this basic HTML markup with a body styling and H1 styling and a little H1 element. If we just take a look at the page rendered in the browser. Sorry, it's a little bit hard to see. Um, we'll fix that shortly. Just a little media queries heading. So media queries are very important for the mobile web and the responsive web, as I said before, because given a certain screen width or device width, we can actually apply different styling, which you can imagine is very, very helpful. So the basic anatomy of a media query looks like this. We have the app media rule, then we can have conditions. Now this one is just going to have one condition. We're going to have a max width of 450 pixels. Then inside these curly braces, that's where we apply the styling that we would like applied to the page or the website once this condition returns true. So on a device up until 450 pixels, we'll apply some styling to the body. I'm just going to change the background color. So we'll say AE44AD. Looks just about right. And now we're going to have a second media query. Now this one's going to have two conditions. So we're going to have a min width, a minimum width of 451 pixels. These are actually going to carry on from each other. You'll see the results in the web browser soon enough. And a maximum width of 540 pixels. So this one's basically saying on a screen or device width of 451 pixels to 540 pixels, let's apply some styling. The body's background property should be equal to 2980B9. These are some pretty cool colors. We'll see them shortly in the browser. And then we're going to have another media query. Now this one's going to have a min width of 541, as you may have guessed, and max width of 768 pixels, so something up to an iPad 1 or 2 in portrait orientation. So let me say body, to the background, 27AE60. Now another one, min width, 769 pixels. and a max width of 1024 pixels. Let's see, body background property again. I'm going to say 16A085. A couple more. Whoop, see a spelling error. Sorry about that. Now we've got at media. We're going to have a minimum width of, you guess it, 1025 pixels and a max width of 1200 pixels. Set the body's background property to CO392B and one last media query. I'm going to say the min width is going to be 1201 pixels and we're going to set the body background property A again. This time to E74C3C. So this last one is basically saying anything larger than pretty much 1200 pixels will apply this styling. So now that we have our media queries all set up, let's go ahead and save our file and check it out in the browser. So we can refresh. And we'll go through the different change in the background property for the body element. So we've got above 1201. Then we have between 1025 and 1200 pixels. Then we have between 769 pixels and 1024. 
Then we have between 541 pixels and 768 pixels. And then we have between 451 pixels and 540 pixels. And then our last media query, which is at a maximum width of 450 pixels. So this is a very basic example of using media queries to change the style, look or feel of the web page, if you like. But this is very fundamental. As you can see, we can target different screen widths. It's important to remember that our media queries must return true for our styles to be applied. So you can kind of think of these as Boolean. So up until 450 pixels, this will return true. And between 451 pixels and 540 pixels, this media query will return true. So that's very important to understand. So I hope you found this helpful and I hope you've learned a little bit about media queries and how you can use them.